First part of our trip was an in-home English breakfast which included eggs, bacon, sausage, toast, tomatoes, potatoes, and beans. To really make it feel like we went out, I made sure to dress up like I was going on a spring vacation. The British Museum has a whole virtual tour, so we uploaded the photos on different screens and turned our living room into the museum. I could even pull up detailed information on each artifact on my phone. YouTube has so many great online tours of the Buckingham Palace, Tower of London, Big Ben, and so much more. We challenged each other to create a London attraction out of recycled goods while going on virtual tours all around. The Borough Market has been around for over a thousand years. It was one of the oldest markets supposedly in the world. Obviously, we can go visit it, but they have a whole recipe list online from different chefs and then we have the tour playing in the back. Of course, what is a trip to London without some tea and scones? It turns out they're really easy to make homemade. After our afternoon tea, we took a virtual Harry Potter London walking tour while art journaling all about our trip. Dinner was fish and chips, and I put together a fun trivia game to play after. How many rooms are in the Buckingham Palace? A, 1075, B, 675, C, 775, D, 855. C, 775. <laughs> Correct. Where are the Conjules cuts? Buckingham Palace, Tower of London, Windsor Castle, or Edinburgh Castle? Tower of London. Yes, ma'am. There are different online resources to watch London plays, operas, and ballets, so we ended our night there and then said goodbye to London right next to the London Eye.